It's a condition that leaves you feeling helpless. I can't, you know, actually walk or hardly talk or even think clearly. And it only affects one in 10,000 people. I remember I looked in the mirror and my face looked different, like I had suffered a stroke. But it's not a stroke. It's different from the stroke because uh, it's a, it is transient. It doesn't leave any permanent damage on the brain. It's called a hemiplegic migraine. Might be something going on on the left side of the brain. Dr. Mohamed Daif studies a wide range of neurologic problems, but it's the hemiplegic migraine that lacks sufficient understanding, but enough to understand factors that could make it worse. High blood pressure, diabetes, if they have high cholesterol, if they smoke, if they're on estrogen hormones, those they need to be controlled. Unlike strokes, hemiplegic migraines can be traced back to sensory triggers, such as a sight, sound, or smell that causes a disturbance in the brain. Amber Petty is no stranger to hemiplegic migraines. She's suffered with them since she was a teenager. But now that she has a family to take care of, it causes even greater concern. She knows when mommy's not feeling good, just settle down. Amber hasn't found any successful treatments, but she does know the warning signs. Head pain starting up. I'll get kind of nauseous. The other stuff will start kicking in, like the paralysis and the vision and hearing problems and speech problems. I found out real quick that I can't be driving when that happens because I was almost in an accident twice. Amber's still looking for answers, but she's found solace in support groups like the Hemiplegic Migraine Foundation. Above all, it's important to note that migraines alone have not been proven to lead to stroke, but they may be one factor that increases your risk. Shelby Danielson, THV 11 News.